Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the gesture recognizer.、Uh, in the old day, when you want the user to interact with your iPhone objects, you need to use the touch begin, touch move,、uh, touch end, touch cancel, so on.、Uh, you still can use them.、Uh, it is very powerful、um, features for the iPhone. However, if you just want the user simply interact with the object on your iPhone, then gesture may be the good choice. So there are. Uh, it comes with four gestures. One is called tap. So when you tap the image on the iPhone, then you recognize to do some action for you. The second one is called pan gesture. When you pan it,、uh, you can move the objects in the iPhone. And then the third one is rotation. When you、uh, use two fingers to rotate that image, then you can rotate. And the last one is called pinch. Usually, you use to zoom out or zoom in your object. So that's、uh, all it does for this four gesture. But how to apply in the、uh, applications? Here is what I'm going to show you. Let's dive in in the program now. So we create a new project.、Um, let's run this one first. So you will see there is an empty view controller. So in order to demonstrate that, we need to create some object for the user to interact. So the first thing I need to do is go to the storyboard.、Mm. Create an image view. <clears throat> Drag and drop this image view. Put in the center. But it doesn't matter.、Um, I make the size is a hundred, hundred, and then put some image there. So go to the image. I got one image here, <clears throat> and then you need to click this、uh, user interaction enable. If you don't、uh, Take it when you put、uh, you add the gesture on this image, you you won't you won't do anything. But you also can programmatically、uh, to put in the view controllers. So now we have that. I need to connect this image view back to the view controller. So there is a dock. So that's all you need to do. Now we can start to interact with this little dock. So first thing you need to do is、um, let's do a simple one first. The simple one we call the tap gesture. So let tap equal UI tap gesture recognizer, and you need to give a target and a selector. So let's create this function first. So tap is very simple. You just、uh, add object because it's object. Uh, objective C object, so you need to put this at opt in front, and then put a function here. We handle the tab. So I need to take the sender. The sender will be the UI tab gesture recognizer. So when somebody、uh, tab it, you pass to this function. So this function is very simple. I just print I and tab. That's all, and we go back to look at here. This target should be self itself, and then the function will be at selector. What we handle is the handle tab. That's all you need to do. At last, you need to、um, assign this、uh, gesture to the object that you want to interact. So this time will be the dot at at.、Uh, Just your recognizer, and this one will be the tab. Okay, that's all you have to do. And let's run this app. To see if you recognize my tab. So there's a little dot, and I press tab. So you see here, I am tapped. I'm tapped. That's that's all that symbols. And the next one I'm going to do is um uh. Another easy one is called pinch. Usually, the people use the pinch to、uh, do the zoom in or zoom out、uh, method. Sometimes they even use it for、uh, in in the scroll view、uh, to zoom the image. So doing the same thing, add opt function handle、uh, this time handle pinch. Same thing. I need to accept the sender. 
and then UI pinch gesture. So the pinch is uh, you just want to do some scale. So if let uh, view, this view will be uh, the, the image, this one, this view, the dog. So the center dot view is telling the center passing the view here. And then you will take the view to transform it. That's uh, some uh, animation function. Transform dot scale by um, because the center also passed the scale. The scale means when you uh, pinch the the object, when you two fingers move uh, a further apart, then you zoom out. If you move uh, move your two fingers uh, closer to each other, it's zooming in. So there's a center scale. And the Y is also center scale. So that's all you need to do. But at last, you also need to uh, set the center scale back to one. Otherwise, if you um, you don't set back to one, when you zoom in, zoom out, your image will getting like crazy. So let's go back to here, self, and this time the selector. Will handle the pinch, and this pinch will also assign to this little dog at gesture. This time is pinch. So this this time the dog will uh, interact with your tab and also the pinch. Let's run this app again. So the tab is still working. So you can see here I am tapped, but this time I want to pinch. So I use two fingers. Making larger or making smaller, you see, they can become larger and smaller according to the pin I have set there. Okay, that's also very simple. Then I will move on to the next one rotation, which is also very simple. It's one line of code. So UI uh, rotation gesture recognizer, same thing. So I need to add a function here. The function will handle rotation, sender, UI rotation gesture recognizer. So this time, what I need to do just uh, rotate it, same thing as what I did for pinch, if let view. This view is the sender interact view, so that will be the little dog. And then the view will also do a transform so the transform dot rotate this time is rotate by what? by the center dot rotation so this center is very powerful you will send the scale, send the rotation angle to the view and also same thing you need to reset the rotation so when the finger lift the object you can, you can stay there if you don't do that, you will always reset and you will be very troubled. So handle rotation. So also assign at this gesture recognizer to the dog. So this dog right now is capable to do three things instead of one. So the first thing is tap. The second thing is uh, is like the pinch we did before and then now we even can rotate the dock see we can rotate the dock now okay the last uh, gesture I'm going to show you is a uh, pen gesture it's a bit complicated but it's still okay so let pen equal UI uh, pen gesture recognizer same thing so we need to create a function to handle that. Uh, we also have uh, to create var. This var using to um, tracking the center point of your image because it, it, it need to tell tells, uh, the pen where you start to move the object to where. So there we can to put some after you have the var you can create a function now handle pen 
same thing, we need to take a sender and the second thing is to assign the sender is a pen gesture so with that we can start to do the codings so the first line you need to guard um, guard the sender dot view it's not equal new because you may not be able to grab the view so if it doesn't grab the view it just returns something okay let's you have the view now forget the else okay so when you got a view you go sender dot view and wrap it and you need to know the translation translation is the distance between um, your object the starting location and the end location so the sender will tell you the translation is kind of simple but you also but this translation need to uh, uh, relatively uh, the super view so you need to have the the, the it's not just simply the distance it's the distance between your object and the super view so when you get that you need to check the status because uh, as you know when you, you you if you try to touch function before you need to know the begin stage and end stage because when you touch that object you start to move your fingers should be touching that object when you lift your object then it does, it does know the status is changed. So you need to keep checking the sender status. So if the status is begin, that means you start to hold the object for a while. So self dot. Then you can assign the initial location now. That's the view dock center. It's the little docs image you hold there. The center location will assign to this initial center. We have, so you have the start location now if the sender stage change now this time is not equal to dot cancel that means you are holding that view so you are holding that view and you start to move that little dot so the new center will be equal to cg point uh, the initial center dot x plus the translation dot x that is uh, when you move to the x axis so you will add the translation x point to the initial center why same thing because you can move a diagonal so that you also need to add the translation dot y you have that to and view dot center will be equal to the new location new center location else else that means your finger left the image so view dot center dot initial center so that you will stop there that's all you need to do so let's run these apps again and see if we can oh sorry we <laughs> we forget to assign the target to self and then we also need to have the selector This time is handle pen, the one we just create. And then that little dog need to add a gesture. This time is pen. So we will be able to move that little dog now. So if I just tap the dog, I am tap and I lift the finger, I didn't move, so pen doesn't work. If I press the dog and hold it, so you can see the dog start to moving along with my fingers movement on the iPhone and also I still can do my pinch uh, that's a bit hard to do on this little dog okay I can pinch it now and also I can rotate the problem is you really need to uh, using a simulator is a bit hard when using a finger it's a lot easier okay that's for the demo today if you um, like it please give me a like and also subscribe my channel next time i'm going to use the uh, what you have learned here the gesture recognizer apply to the scrolling wheel because most of the time you may design some apps that uh, using scroll wheel to hold a big picture uh, how can you use the, the gesture to control in the scroll wheel that's all for today thanks for watching see you next time